In this video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 AI image generators. But hey, if you haven't seen this channel before, you got to like and subscribe because I'm going to be coming out with banger. You're going to want to stay to the end of this video because at the end, I have an image generator that you probably never heard of. Even if you're an AI assassin, you probably never heard of this last one. It's an honorable mention and you got to stay tuned. Now listen, dragging his feet at number 5, a lot of you guys ain't going to like this. But for me, this is my list. If you want a list, you make the list. But dragging his feet at number five, mid journey, wildly creative, check, but can't write for anything. If Picasso and a drunk poet had a tech baby, this would be it. Listen, I don't have anything against mid journey. I personally don't like using it. I don't think it's good at text. I think mid journey does great pictures. But listen, I don't want anything that isn't good at following my prompt. Mid journey is not good at following the prompt. Compared to some of these other on the list, it ain't good. Listen, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, it has that aesthetic I like. Okay, cool. But if all we're talking about is aesthetic, I don't think that's much. The next one, number four. This AI is that person who isn't your friend. You don't really want to hang out with them, but they'll do the trick out of sheer boredom. This one is all in one platform. And what I'm talking about here is Playground AI. The nice thing about Playground AI is it's all in one, multiple tools. It has multiple stylizations for whatever you want, but it will use stable diffusion. Either Stable Diffusion or Stable Diffusion XL. I believe that they might have their own playground model, but it ain't that good. I'm just being real with you. But the one thing I'll say that I use personally with Playground AI is it's good at Stable Diffusion 1.5. And this is my favorite place to use Stable Diffusion 1.5. And what would I use it for? I use Stable Diffusion 1.5 for horror. Stable Diffusion 1.5 is good at horror. You know what? But the only thing, I wouldn't use it for text, just like Mid Journey, but even worse than Mid Journey. I wouldn't use this for text at all. I would just run, sheer from it. All right, the, the one thing that I would say, and I'll give Playground AI, it's pretty good at realism. It's okay at it. You can get results that are pretty realistic out of Playground AI. Creeping up to third, Dolly 3. Realism's left in the dust with this one. But if you ask for a fisheye lens, you'll get a scene so bent it could run for office. Look, some things about Dolly 3. It's good at following prompt. You're gonna give it a prompt, and you're gonna get something similar to what you're looking for. The other good thing about Dolly 3, if you're using a side of ChatGPT, you can iterate upon the images. Now, it won't give you the same type of images every time when you ask to iterate. It will give you something different, but it will get you closer to what you're looking for. You can't iterate upon the same exact image and keep a lot of the aspects of the same image. It will turn into a different image, but it's okay. It is good at what getting what you're looking for. One of the things I hate about Dolly 3 Three? This is not good at realism. Listen, I know what you're gonna say. Listen, this image, this image, this image is Dolly 3, and I think it's great at realism. Good for you. But I'm telling you this Dolly 3 has a tendency to not produce realistic images. It has a tendency to, to produce almost realistic images. And it tries to act like it's great at what it does. It's not the best at what it does. I'll say it's pretty good. It's competitive. That's why it's at my number three spot. I want realistic images when I ask for it, and I want hyper realism when I ask for it as well. But one thing I will say Dolly 3 really has, does well is it has great camera effects. Now, one of the camera effects that it has, CC, TV, wide angle, or fish eye lens. If you ask for a CC, TV thing, it will look almost realistic. Other than the fact when you zoom in, you'll notice it's a bit cartoony. One of the things I used to really like about Dolly was that it was uncensored. It was almost uncensored. And you could almost uh, use celebrities, whoever you want. But now if you use it at least within the ChatGPT space, it's censored. And you have to really bounce around to get what you're wanting out of it. Also, this thing does not allow the option of waiting. Listen, if you're a real prompting pro, a real prompting engineer, you need the option of waiting. And you need the option of negative prompting. It does not have the option of either of these. That's why I come to my number two and number two i have mage ai where the motto is uncensored and unleashed it's the wild child of ai that just don't play by the rules listen the thing about this one is uncensored you can pretty much create what you want there is some exceptions but it's pretty uncensored at least for a web-based stable diffusion one of the good things about mage ai is it has negative prompting. It has negative prompting and you can make what you want. It has a very easy use to use Mage AI and you can do in painting super easy. And this for a long time was my favorite AI to use. Now, one thing I'll say about Mage AI is that it has a lot of checkpoints you can use. It has a lot of checkpoints and a lot of lures you can use. And it's almost unlimited. That means you can create ultra realistic images with checkpoints. That's super helpful. I don't know how many times you want to create a 
image or a portrait of somebody and it just never comes out realistic you won't get that with mage ai if you're using the right checkpoints now this is going to bring us to our reigning supreme the dawn of digital realism until you throw in a crowd and watch it squint harder than a mole in daylight it's almost perfect at following the prompts listen ideogram is my number one you're gonna love ideogram when you try it you're gonna love it i bought the basic version and i love it now I do wish I would have bought the $20 version because the $20 version allows you the uh, ability to create images privately. There is no waiting in this, but it's perfect at following the prompt and it is the absolute best at iterating upon what you want. So all you have to do is iterate upon previous images by using the magic prompter and image remixer and it's amazing. It also does pretty fast image generation. Now this is the most diverse variation between users images in my opinion. When you look at other people's images you don't get a vibe that this is all created with the same image generator. Now for me I look at a lot of mid journey images and I can kind of tell they're mid journey images. That's great, but I want to be tricked sometimes. You want to not know what it's come from. But when you're looking at the homepage and you're scrolling, you'll see a lot of different types of images. Something that you can't really pinpoint to one specific model, but it would be Ideogram. Now listen, Ideogram is also great because it allows for the generations of celebrities. Now, a lot of these other ones, you're not going to be able to get celebrities right. If you're using Stable Diffusion, you're, you could try, but it's not going to be the great. You're going to have to use Lords, you're going to have to use Dream Booth something. It's not going to come straight out the box like that. I found it to be the best platform for coming up with image ideas. A lot of the time, I'm coming up with an idea for a thumbnail or something for this, and I'll look. I'll look on Ideogram, and I'll try to generate something. And it'll give me something a little different, slightly different. And that'll give me inspiration for what I really want it to be. So I change my mind all the time with Ideogram for the better. It allows me to figure out what my finished piece is going to be. Also, the image strength feature is the best, beating Stable Diffusion X and all stable diffusion platform if you want image to image or image strength this is the best platform it will give you the best variations using different strengths. Now, even though there's no negative prompting and there's no waiting, you almost don't need it with this one. Now, lastly, I have an honorable mention here for you guys. The honorable mention is Photo Leap. It's the fastest generator I know. And listen, I know this is going to be a really poor model to a lot of you guys, but when I'm just trying to come up with ideas very quickly, it's even faster than Ideogram AI and it's fast cute. And listen, this is fast. It gives you four generations, it takes less than a second or two seconds, but it gives you four generations quickly. And I use this a lot of time to try to come up with t-shirt ideas or get inspiration for t-shirt ideas. And you're going to easily be able to do that with this one. But don't even bother with the text with this one and don't even bother to make sure that it's super coherent with this one. But this one is great. It's a great one to add to the repertoire to just get those creative juices flowing. Now listen, these are my top five AI image generators. Now, I know I had Stable Diffusion in there twice, but that's okay because I gave you the fifth one as an honorable mention if you really want different models completely. But you don't need different models. Those top five are all you need to make the best images right now. This is great for any professional.